even with a victory, Corey is frustrated upon returning to the challenge HQ in Spies, Lies and Allies episode 10. The four-time challenge finalist feels castmate he's been loyal to did him dirty with the previous episode voting and now he's ready for revenge. In a sneak peek clip, Corey mentions several people he's been targeting after what went down on the previous episode's deliberation. Hello fellow couch potatoes, welcome to today's video. The challenge star is targeting his vet castmates in episode 10. In previous episode, we saw an intense deliberation as two members of the veteran alliance argued about who should go into elimination. It involved Corey and two-time challenge champion Ashley who fired back at Corey and Nelson during the heated deliberation. Ultimately, Corey had the biggest target on his back for the voting, as castmates felt he was working with some of the rookies and not so much with all the vets. In episode 10 preview clip, Corey speaks with his good friend Nelson about his frustration over what happened to him. Back into headquarters with revenge on my mind. It is These vets don't have my back. Why should I have their back? It's me against the world just the way that I like it, said Corey in a confessional. He tells Nelson that the individuals he's going to target include veteran Amanda and Kyle. Kyle's head's on a platter and Amanda too. She's getting it and Ashley too, Corey tells Nelson. During the challenge aftermath show, a review of episode 9 votes showed that most of the vets voted for Corey except Nelson and Amber. So he could have a lot of vets to target as he looks to reach another final. Based on the clip, Nelson has advised him not to let his emotions get the best of him, saying to take them out one by one. Oh, else, just take them out one by one. In the end of episode 9, there's a spice, lies and challenge twist on the way that will force competitors to adapt to some big rule changes in episode 10. Many people believe it could be a solo season from here on out. If true, that would really shake things up in terms of winning daily challenges and how the remaining eliminations go. Also, yes. do you think it's an individual game now? I don't have a partner. I know, not yet. Devin doesn't have a partner. If they were going to pick new partners, Corey and Bettina would have got the opportunity to pick. All you need is TJ. I guess we'll have to tune in and find out. Please subscribe for more challenge news and I'll be dropping my recap after tonight's episode. Until next time, thank you for watching. Gaining players will now be saying goodbye to their pairs of two. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe. See you on the next video. Bye.